Testing, testing. There we go. That's what. Yeah. How about this. What's going on, uh, J Neck? <laughs> Barely see writing over there.
Okay, <clears throat> we're back. Uh, let me go over here. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, go on over some of these things. Oh, fun. In the media gallery, we've added um, new fonts for the text. Oh. Available. Second. Now choose whether to deceive. Like whether you like to notifications on your email. Connected of the microphone. It's just a lot, <clears throat> just a lot of small stuff, but together. So fix a lot, they changed a lot. Now when you block someone, oh, I like this one. Now when you block someone, you can choose to also leave the party that only you and their in the same um, won't leave. Okay. Updated the dual sense wireless controller device software to ability. System software program. What are you? Caution. One the latest official world. Stop using the beta program. Or to the system. Software to the latest official. Have a but that makes sense, okay? I hope people fucking remember that. Can I take a screenshot? Yes, I can. That that right there is important. If you don't want the beta program anymore, you can restore it to the old one. But you gotta have to remove that SSD. <laughs> Um, I got my SSD coming in. Um, uh, it's a lot to unpack. Like, truly it is. Like, they waited, what, seven months to give us, like, everything at the same time. I don't mind that. Um, we'll probably have another huge update in the beginning of next year due to the Discord integration. Um, what's going on, man? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to talk about the SSD. I got the SSD that everybody got. Um, I was going to have to, I had to buy a heat sink. So I got a heat sink from uh, Newegg. I also got my SSD from Newegg. <clears throat> Let me go over uh, the details of the SSD. I will probably have to go over it multiple times. So I will probably put a link uh, of SSD. That so. I think I just do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That the one I got. I know which one I got. I'm just trying to figure out.
one I got. Um, really, really confused. One second. Okay, we're back. So I can't hear anybody. So that that means nobody's in the chat. Like it's just me and the people in the chat. So what SSD? Okay, I was in the middle of doing that. Okay. Uh huh. I hope I got the right SSD. I'm pretty sure I did because nobody corrected me on that shit. Um, it's just when I got the SSD, it's a little bit cheaper, but it was the one, uh, and that would be the Western Digital Black, uh, one terabyte, um, MVME internal gaming SSD, uh, generation four, uh, that's M two twenty two eighty. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that everybody says to get. It's weird because I, I saw it for a cheaper price and it didn't have the heatsink. So I had to buy a heatsink. So you guys can't see this, but this is the SSD that I got. The one that everybody gets. But the one that everybody gets has the heatsink, so it kind of looks different. This is the one. And it was out of stock, so I had no choice. You know? Yeah, this is the this is the one that everybody gets because it has the heat sink on it. But I I purchased the heat sink on uh, Newegg, uh, and it was only thirteen dollars. So I want to make sure I got that out the way. I'm gonna have to install the heat sink onto the SSD, then put the SSD. Uh, remember, everybody was running around getting the SSD before they got the update, and I was like, no, I'm not doing that. If I don't get into this, um. If I don't get into this beta, I'm not going to buy the SSD. So that's what I did. I got into beta yesterday. I went around, shopped around, was going to do Amazon. Uh, to my surprise, Walmart had um, SSDs. Actually, this SSD is still in stock. It's just the one without the, without the heat sink. The one with the heat sink is out of stock. And they, and this was, this was what was funny. That's the one with the uh, heat sink. They boosted the price. And then after I got the SSD without the heat sink, they boosted the price again. So, um, I guess I'm lucky. So, I am going to just give you guys the, uh, the link to that specific one from Big. Like I said, I'm guessing I got that. Because the other one was 500 gigs. 
I know I got the one up top because I know it said one termite. So right after yesterday, they boosted the price. Yeah. Right after yesterday, right after I purchased it uh, yesterday on Newegg, on Newegg, they boosted the price of that same SSD because it is in such high demand. Um, and then sure. next... What's going on, uh, DJ? In the next couple uh, seconds, I'm going to be posting the, uh, the SSD that I got. Hey, Jay, maybe um, I don't like to do my research. Why do your research when you got somebody you can ask the questions? Uh -huh. um, questions about the SSD, right? Yeah. What's the most, how much gig you they allow you to put on it? Like eight gig? Um, oh, well, they don't have eight I, gig. No, I they think it's four. four. Yeah, I think it's four. So you got a one, you got a two, and a four. Uh, the oh, lowest one is 500 gigabytes, but I don't know. That if don't people, make no sense. Yeah, I think that people like don't get that one because the speed is also lower. So I was like, oh, okay. Because, I, I mean, to me, it would have been all right because I, I would have probably put the smaller games over there or mm -hmm. or something like that because I don't have any big games on PS5 like that are like over 100 gigs. Except for Spy um sorry, except for Final Fantasy. So like I will put Final Fantasy on that SSD. Yeah, so I could start playing that. Because it's on the external hard drive right now. So there we go. I'm gonna pin it. It's called my SSD. That's the one that I got. So since people are gonna continue to ask me the question of what SSD did you get, Jay? Uh that's the SSD that I got. Um what's going on, Civil How? How you doing? I got I got the beta code yesterday and I got the SSD. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I just don't want to like look like a fool and not getting in a beta and then end up like having a, a two hundred dollar SSD in the house and I can't even fucking use it. So I wanted to be sure that I was in the beta before I purchased. My plan was to get the SSD anyway. Um obviously I wanted a higher size, but I was like, eh, I don't wanna pay that money now. I see that they already boosted the fucking price uh, of the one terabyte, which is almost half the price of what the the two was gonna be. So now the two is four something on New Egg, uh, but it's supposed to be like I don't know. I think the I think the one terabyte should be good for me. I think it should be good for me. So we'll see. Um, Thousand. Yeah, this is the one that Mark Cerny uh, recommended. Only thing is, uh, this one doesn't have the heat sink, so I had to buy one. So it was only. It, see, the thing is, this is what's funny. If you just buy the SSD and get your heat sink, you're paying less money than buying. The SSD with the heat sink. So the SSD with the heat sink is like. It could be like three or four. Well, yeah. shit, I forgot. It is like about three or four. About three or four hundred dollars. But if you just get the SSD, you're paying two hundred. And then the heat sink is only thirteen or twelve dollars. So if you got the screwdriver set and shit and you can install that. um, The heat sink and you're you're saving money. I mean, my whole point was I would have got the one with the heat sink just to save me the time and hassle, but it was already sold out. That one sold out more. Um, I got the one on my record. Same you got to. Exactly, yeah, we, we all got the same one. Uh looks good. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, that's the one I was supposed to get. I was just confused because the price went up. <laughs> the price the price went up like and I had just got it yesterday. That's what's crazy about it. Let me go check the email because I brought, um, I believe I brought the heat sink first and then I got that SSD. I wanted to be sure everything was right. Finance. So, if I'm correct about this.
Quick charge my password. So I don't know when they're gonna ship it, but I guess whenever they ship, it. I have um notifications on my cell phone just in case. Let me make sure. And as of right now, I'm I'm be leaving early for work, so I don't think I will go live. I think my plan is to at least knock the Suicide Squad movie out. Or already have um so i think i'm gonna knock that movie out the way and then um i should be free and hopefully i if i'm still up i can knock a couple anime episodes out the way and have a free weekend as far as gaming is concerned that's what i want i want as much time to play games <laughs> uh, let me just scroll through very tonight. Well, he's still in power, so ain't she happening to activate? Uh, we didn't report it yesterday, but it looks like. Activision is going to go forward with the Call of Duty of 2020. There will be a Call of Duty coming out this year. Weird though, again, we know that they still have a very strong partnership with uh, PlayStation. So we're expecting that this uh, the new Call of Duty is going to be shown off at a PlayStation event. Well, that's what I'm expecting. So we don't have the event now. It's Friday. It's 11.47. There is, is no major news at all from PlayStation. Scrolling through Twitter just to see what I see. So I see that Kojima has posted what I believe that he's in the office. Yep, he is in the office. Um, and he's showing the trailer for, uh, for Death Stranding. So his 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 version of the trailer of Death Stranding, which I said, if you don't want to be confused, probably don't watch it. Uh, if you're a first time buyer of Death Stranding or you have not played it, you might want to watch the PlayStation trailer for the Death Stranding Director's Cut so you can know exactly what's going on. Um, well, I mean, the, 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 st the story is out there, but once you start to play, you understand. It's pretty pretty damn good story. But the way that Kojima had posted his trailers before the original game, a lot of people were confused about the story and if they were going to like it. Um, but it's a straightforward story. It's, it's kind of like a... It's an Ellie and Joel story. You know, you got the father figure and father figures delivering the kid the location and then shit goes wrong and, you know. It's like The Last of Us. But without zombies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, in layman's terms, if you like The Last of Us, you probably like Death Stranding. It just doesn't have zombies. And you do have the ability to travel via motorcycle and van. And, you know, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty dope, to be honest. Um, not that bad. Beautiful visual. So just scrolling through Twitter. Uh-oh, looks like somebody got a platinum for uh, Returnal. They didn't give the fuck up. I gave up, and I, I mean, I, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean I ain't gonna go back and chip away because that's all I have to do. I'm gonna chip away until I randomly unlock that shit. Um, so I haven't really given up. Like, uh, well, I I put it on a back burner. Let me not say give up. I put it on a back. Burner. I, I I I gave up because it's a, it's an it's a little annoying, man. It's like, hey, bro, I went through this fucking level. It's hard as shit. And you want me to go back through the level without me finding what the fuck I wanted. You know, so it is what it is. Goodness, I man. support them. I support the game. But at the end of the day, I gave up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, it's, it's perfectly all right, man. It's, it's, 
It wasn't the difficulty for me. It's the finding what the fuck I'm looking for in the area. Um, it is what it is, man. Uh, let's see. I may I may go back to it one day. I may go back to it, but you know, what I mean, for right now, it's on a back burner. I find it really interesting that yesterday and today is when the beta codes went out. They never really said when people when people were really gonna get in the beta. I had heard that people were getting in the beta before yesterday. But the majority of the invites went out yesterday and today. So it's good to see that a lot of PlayStation gamers are getting in there. Uh, some of which have already pre-ordered or pre-purchased their SSDs. So they should be good. But like I I'm said... Waiting for, I'm waiting for my email to get the invite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, I got notifications on for my Yahoo email, which is the email that I uh, signed up with. So it was... um. It was pretty dope when I saw that notification. I was like, oh shit, this this might be what I've been waiting for. <laughs> okay. Twitter ain't feeding me shit today. Today is a Friday, even though it's a part of the week, it really isn't. It's regarded as a weekend, and that's why we probably don't get anything from PlayStation. So if we if we get anything from PlayStation, it'll be between Tuesday and Thursday. So that's a three day. Um, you ain't gonna get much on Monday. You're not getting anything on Friday. Uh, and it is almost 12 noon. So, um, in California time, the day is almost about to start. So about to be what? Nine o'clock in the fucking morning. So, I mean, by that logic, we should get information out of the California branch of PlayStation. But I'm gonna be honest, on Fridays, we don't. Like... It doesn't matter what the time difference is. Don't. It, it is considered a weekend Friday. Sadly, I still got to go to work. But I enter in that beta. I don't care about that. So, let's just talk. So, let's get over here real quick and let's talk. So, I saw the Back for Blood. I want to get a, a visual on. Um, let's see. I want to get a visual and the visual will be for back for blood which is a game i was interested in because i never properly got to play uh and, and i didn't get to properly play left for dead i do remember playing it on uh pc or laptop many many years ago but i was not successful and like ever i don't think i ever owned a copy right so one thing I noticed, uh, and I, you know, I found some history out with uh, GameStop, or sorry, GameSpot, and it kind of makes me respect them more than I respected IGN. Um, and the only reason why I respected IGN, yes, in regards to PlayStation All-Stars is because Greg and Colin were there to cover that. If Greg and Colin wasn't there to cover that, the game probably wouldn't have got an 8. Uh... The people at GameSpot seem to like it, but they, they've they done not bad when it comes to covering shit in recent years. Uh, IGN is the one that kind of is very biased. You don't have a PlayStation representative working there. Uh, and what I mean by that is somebody that actually knows PlayStation is good. You're going to get a lot of bias coming out of that um, that branch of information. Let me just put it that way. Uh and that's why we got Dustin and all these other Dustin Leary. We got all these other people coming from IGN that are just straight out Xbox fans. I'm not surprised. I don't really care. I fucking knew this shit since the PS3 generation. Um, but I'm noticing that when it comes to like a PlayStation game versus a a, a, a multi platform game, or in the eyes of the industry, PlayStation really has to go above and beyond. Like, if they don't go above and beyond, they just that game is a fucking flop or something. So, let's just call it what it is. They calling them the, uh, they, they have a certain name for these zombie people, right? They have a certain name. And I don't really care what it is. They're zombies, okay? Same shit for, uh, Days Gone. Those are zombies. I don't care what the alternate name is. It's zombies, right? They're dead. Or they should be dead, but they're still walking around and fucking with you. 
So, one zombie game to another. One is first person, the other one's third person. But when you pick the zombie characters, you, you have a PvP mode where, you know, you got two zombie or three zombies and then it's three other humans trying to shoot up the zombies and shoot you, which is also a zombie. Um... And that's cool. They got a lot of multiplayer modes here and, you know, co-op and shit. That's, that's pretty dope. And I know this is just a beta and I know shit isn't going to change because I've been in a lot of beta. And most of the th times there's not that much change that you can see with your own fucking eyes. Like most of the time games that launch with betas, you, you play the, the, the official game and there's not that much change. You know, there's a difference between the reveal of a game and a finished product. But when it goes into beta, that basically is the finished product. They just want your input on things to change or iron out. That's it. That's all it is. Uh, so. I feel like. They didn't go all in. On the fuck ups. They would start to analyze certain things they didn't like. They would start to say something they didn't like. Then they would pull back and they would say, ah, well, it's, it's in beta. Well, if you've been working in the industry for as long as they have, and uh, I've been a gamer in the modern days <laughs> of the internet as long as I have, we both know, journalist to gamer, shit ain't gonna get any better. <laughs> If you're dealing with problems in the beta, you best believe those problems are still going to be there in the final game. Why? Because not enough people that are beta testers, like gamers, and also journalists that are paid to say good things about the game, are not doing the homework and saying, hey, bro, hey, you need to fix this shit. If it is, there's a couple hundred people, but the rest of the people that enter the beta are like, nah, man, it's all right. It's just a beta. So they don't report any of the issues. So the issues go into the final game. So it looks pretty because it's a first person shooter. What first person shooter doesn't look good in the first person aspect, right? With a gun, it's supposed to look good. That's why we like first person shooters, right? Um, third person, not so good. It looks really, really buggy, especially when you're running around as a zombie. Um, I have came under the realization that you have to actually buy the game in order to be in the beta, which I completely am against, especially after I saw the movements of this, the zombie, and how last gen, well, shit, how PS3 generation it looks. Uh, he's just walking through trees, not bending them or anything. His arms going through trees. Just, It's just... I was like, nah, bro. Nah, I'm like, mm -mm. no, I don't think I like that. So, again, I was a little skeptical, and I ain't gonna lie, I was bent out of shape that they gave this, they're giving this game to the Xbox community for for free with the Game Pass subscription. Um, so outside of me being kind of salty about it, and I'm gonna be honest. Because I would have to pay for the game. My next question was. Is something wrong with it? Because if you give something away for free. That should be your initial reaction. Is something wrong with it? What do you do to it? And as you can see. Yeah bro. Looks. Yeah the, you see the way he's moving around and shit. That's not next gen. That's not even current gen. I, I mean or PS4. Or PS5 gen. It's just no. That's no. You can't say anything about the art style. In relations to the gameplay. Because the art style is very realistic. The detail is there. I like the attention to detail. So again that's a plus. But as, as far as. It looking the way it looks. Nah man. So again. It's a beta. But it's not an alpha. Which means the next step is it coming out and being in the hands of the gamers. Which means some of these things won't get fixed. The movement of that character probably won't get fixed. It'll probably still look as outdated as possible. I understand they're going for the Left 4 Dead community. 
which of course that game is outdated but there are some good character movements in the game and so we know what they were trying to go for but there's there's some stuff that I just don't like I want the movements of these zom zombie mutants to be a little bit more realistic uh you got him moving around pretty fast but he has a big slugger of a hand that doesn't make sense he should be weighed down on the aspect of his big arm instead of moving around like the flash um he should be dragging it it should be leaving marks on the ground this is again we're in the next generation of gaming right so i'm i'm thinking as a next generation uh gamer again first person view looks great it makes everything look even better that's just how that shit works um I think I will not play the mode that they're playing where you got to deal with third person and you're a zombie. I think that's stupid. But the way the zombie move is, is ridiculous. They move so sluggish. Yeah, I mean, I will continue to say this over and over and over again. Some games don't need to be on PS4 or Xbox One. I'm just going to say that. Some games just do not need to be on PS4 or Xbox One. They just they, they they just need to be on PS5 and Xbox Series X. That's it. That's just how I see it. I don't see any other thing that needs to happen. Call of Duty Black at, Ops. I don't look at Wars zombie too. game the same that I look at when I look at Days Gone zombies. You know what it, I mean? Exactly. So I always compare the zombies. Mm -hmm. And I feel like even when you had the big brute, his movement matched his size. Yeah. You know? You're not playing as him, but you see this guy coming at you. You hear his footsteps in a way that you know he has power. You know he's a heavy guy. He moves fast, but not, like, super fast because, again, they're taking an account of his size, his shape, and his power. So, if Sony Ben that made nothing but PSP titles transfers over to a ps4 and is able to do good when it comes to enemy detail um my hats are off to them i don't know what people's problem with the game was i heard people said the story was drawn out i can agree with that to a degree uh but as far as what they were able to do with attention to detail and everything for a single player a zombie game yeah uh the only thing i didn't like about days gone is i feel like it would have been a lot more fun if you had two, three, or even four player co-op in that open world, that would have been just a ton of fun. So again, more players, you got to tone down the visuals or the graphics. It feels like on that case, you probably wouldn't have had to do it that much, um, depending on how many players it would have been. I just feel like if you're dealing with a PlayStation exclusive in the office of these journalists and the reviewers, they don't get a fair shake compared to like a multiplat or even an Xbox game. It's kind of like certain things go by the wayside. They're like, oh, it's all right. You know, don't worry about it. It's, it's not that bad. If a PlayStation game exclusive does it, it's like, oh, man, that's horrible. They, they, they knew better. It's like, ah, it sucks, man. It really sucks. Um, so I, I just wanted to point that out because I, I was, you know, working out a little bit this morning and I wanted to have something more when I was watching it so I felt let me go catch up on some of this stuff um Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Season 5 Double Agent um let's go watch that trailer I'm not a Call of Duty fan I do not have that game uh but again remember with all the drama going on for Activision Activision is real I feel like they're doing a good job as a business Kind of like, okay, let's do this lawsuit. Let's kick some of these people out at Blizzard. Let's put the blame on people at Blizzard. Let's move the fuck on. Uh, because if you let this shit engulf you, you're not going to make any money. And the gamers are going to be pissed off because if Activision goes away, bro, a lot of gamers might leave because Call of Duty is the only thing people know and love. Kind of like, you know how many gamers we lost when Fight Night stopped coming out? We lost a lot of gamers. When NFL Street stopped coming out, when the NBA Street stopped coming out, uh, fuck. We, it was just so many gamers were like, I don't want to play games no more because my favorite game's not coming out. 
uh, there was a group of gamers that loved uh, Def Jam Vendetta and Def Jam Fight for New York. Like, you'd lost certain people when you don't bring games out anymore. I know a lot of people that were on PlayStation Home during the PS3 generation, when that shit went under, those people just didn't come back to, to gaming. They're like, eh, fuck it. My, my favorite thing about this system no longer exists. I no longer exist here. Um, so, um, the gaming industry as a whole, when it comes to casuals, I guess that people always got to think, hey, if Call of Duty goes away, it's all right, because there's a lot of other shooters. It's, it's this, it's that. You can't fill those steps even if you wanted to. Um, that's just facts. Let's go see what's going on. Double agent. All. Well, what is that? Double agent. All new. An all new multiplayer mode. Okay. Double agent, huh? Double agent says bombs eliminate operatives. The cool thing about Call of Duty, they're always reinventing themselves. And you got to give them credit for that. Everybody loves Call of Duty. Some people like it for other reasons, but I'm glad that it's changing. It's adding the little different things here and there. I can get behind it. Like the mode I was playing yesterday, I, I thought everything in the free-to-play uh, Call of Duty was like Battle Royale. I liked that you had different you know, objectives, protect the truck and shit like that. Okay. Okay, they still again they still have uh their contract with PlayStation and this is why you haven't heard PlayStation come out and say, Oh, I don't want to work with Activision anymore because they're dealing with a lot of drama. Well, it doesn't matter because they make money off of Activision and Activision makes money off of PlayStation. So I know you see Corey saying stuff, but outside of Corey Barlar, you're not gonna see like PlayStation come out and say we're breaking with Activision because they look bad publicly. Thanks. Fuck out of here. They ain't gonna do that. Um, that shit ain't happening. Let me go. What's going on, Nick? I see you commenting a lot. Vegeta. SS, SS9 Vegeta is here. Owl is here. Captain Crunch. Who are you? We're gonna we're gonna be floored with these co-op focus games. Yeah, I mean, I I was always a bigger fan of co-op. It just feels like you can really get shit done instead of just like free for all. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna kill me. Type shit. Um. So. Yeah, I, I always like uh, always like co-op more than multiplayer. I mean, multiplayer is good, man. I'm, I'm gonna be happy. Civil how you said I was able to pick up. A beta key from Alienware website for PC. Uh, I, I can confirm one more thing. Now, I don't know if my laptop can run it. I wish it could, but I'm not even going to fucking test that out. So, the fist game with the bunny rabbit, Um, they have a demo for that on PC. I talked to the developer. I talked to the developer probably 10 different times yesterday. Um... And I had let the developer know that I had pre-ordered your game. What's going on? Like, are is the PlayStation community getting a demo too? Now, I understand why they put a demo on PC, but it's probably the dumbest thing to do. You put a demo on PC because people don't know your game exists, right? Well, to the best of my knowledge, the game... The game is not actually supposed to be on PC because the game is coming out next month on PS4 and PS5 only. 
So when they introduced the demo, they actually introduced the fact that this game is not going to stay a PlayStation exclusive. The demo went live Thursday, August 5th, which was yesterday. They had talked to the PC community, which, again, didn't know the game exists. Now, what is very interesting about this is I believe developers at this current point are live. Um, and they're broadcasting live on Twitch. I mean, on Steam. You guys got to see this. Oh, I got a super chat. And I think that's who I think it is. That's a legend of all the fallen. Can you scroll the fuck up? Frostbite. Still no event announcement. I don't think PlayStation will be having a big blowout event next week. Probably not even in August with Gamescom soon as well. Exactly. But see, Gamescom is the 25th. So if you look at it, you got two weeks until, well, this week is over. You got one week until Ghost comes out. And then you got, you got one week until Ghost come out and then you got two weeks until the Gamescom event. Now, Ghost is big. People have pre-ordered it. You do one more hype trailer next week. That's pretty much certified. It's going to get like 10 million by the end of the holiday season. Maybe even before then. It only needs about 4 million more copies for um for it to sell 10 million um so they might confirm that about a month or two after it comes out i felt very confident about my prediction because it's an empty area nothing major happened this week except for sales reports maybe that all set the, the possibility of announcing something Next week, as far as I see as a gamer, I don't see anything happening. So I don't know if you want to talk about anything at all. But September, some people are predicting September. No, no, you don't want to predict. Uh, you don't want to do anything in, in the month of September. You don't want to do anything in the month of September because you have too many games. And it just doesn't look like it's going to work out for you. Uh, fucking over the hype of the games. So, um, again, I'm a big fan of indie games from developers that push the envelope. So, if those indie games look really good. And I feel like they're pushing the envelope. That's a day one. That's how I operate. Sometimes I buy indie games that are more retro. But that's only sometimes. That's the type of indie supporter I am. Okay? I played a shitload of games on the Super NES uh, and the N64 era that, that were in that time frame. And sometimes I like games like that. And sometimes I just, no, I'm going to stay in the here and now. So uh, I just want to give the link. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find it on Twitch before we go share the screen. But again, uh the developer and the, again this is a big no-no this is what you don't do uh we talked about this uh with kojima do not announce your game for pc before you bring it out on playstation 5 and 4 where the playstation gamer community has a better chance of advertising your game better than you can because word of mouth sells more copies than you talking about we're going to release a free demo for the PC community four weeks before it comes out on PS4 and 5. And then you publicly announce that on Twitter and PlayStation fans, myself included, asking, hey, bro, what about us? I already pre-ordered your game. Are you dropping a demo? No. Because, again, the PC, um, the PC area, especially when it comes to Steam, the marketplace is, is cluttered with games. All types of games. It's very hard to sell a game. And it's like. Developers only know the classic format. As if we let you play the game for free. Maybe you will buy it. Because you're already going to pirate our game. For free. So maybe we can trick you into buying the game. If we already give you a taste of it for free. 
Now, it could go the opposite way. They could data mine the game and unlock it. And then you have basically just gave them a free copy. Or they data mine the game and spoil it for other people. Or whatever. PC is really, really tricky. Giving them a, de a beta or a demo could be very disastrous for you and the company. Uh, uh, it's just so weird. Let me go see what we got. Split gate is still at a strong 6,000 views. Uh, it was that way to set when we checked last time. So let me see if this. Now, like I said, I saw the developers streaming on Twitch, not sorry, on Steam, not on Twitch. Okay, yeah. So this is what I don't understand. I, what I what I understand is is a way to market the game, but. You got you got the, you got your game on PS5 and you confirmed that it was a PlayStation exclusive because it was only available on PS5 and PS4. So you given the demo to the PC community, but you still have a time to exclusivity deal with PlayStation. They're the ones that help you fund the game with the China Joy project. So why would you give the demo to the PC people before you give it to us? Like I said, I don't like when developers try to fuck us over. You guys might not catch it, but it's my job to catch this shit. It's always been my job to catch this shit. Somebody treats me wrong, I feel like it's going to not only hurt me, it's going to hurt you guys. When it hurts you guys, it makes you don't want to support shit. When you don't support shit, we don't get shit anymore. So, I don't like being fucked over because if I'm fucked over, you guys are fucked over. And if you feel some type of way, it might be a completely different story. You might not just go out and support the game. Now, whatever PC running that shit on, it don't look good. From from what I saw of Fist, it looks really, really good on PS4 and 5. And I'm seeing them zooming in and shit. And whatever PC he got this shit running on, it do not look pretty. This is what I like about consoles. These games have to be um, optimized to a full extent on PlayStation. Yeah, bro, it's a lot of popping on his fucking on his computer or whatever. But again, it's a day one. Regardless of them having the demo first on play uh, on PC, I don't think we're getting a demo. Although I I believe we should. Uh, as you know, PC fans are weirdos. They love furries. This is a furry type of game, if you will. It has animals. Doesn't seem to be any humans that I saw. So I can understand why they wanted to market it over there. But I mean, it's like both sides are fucked. Let's let's talk about that. They get the demo, but they don't get the game. They don't have a release date for a game. They can't pre-order. We get to pre-order the game. We have a release date for the game, but we can't play the demo. So you're fucking us over and you're fucking them over because they only get to play the demo and then when the when the game comes out, they're going to have to see us play the game. So they've been attached to the demo and these characters in the demo, but they are going to get the whole game spoiled for them because they get they have to watch PlayStation fans play it first. Again, to the best of my knowledge right now, the demo got announced yesterday. And, and this was only for PC, but the game comes out on PS4 and PS5 September 7th. They did not confirm that the game is coming out day and date on PC because day and date is the word that PlayStation fans have told me they don't want to see. So if PlayStation went through all the hassle to make sure this game was a possibility, they were going to lock it down for a certain amount of time on their systems, which they did. I don't know how long it's going to be locked since the demo is already playable on PC. Uh, but as you can see, it's a solid game. It's just his, his PC does not look like it's keeping up with a PS5 or even a PS4 because I'm seeing some blurriness on this demo. Uh, the gameplay that we've seen on PlayStation 4 and 5. 
look good. I'm pretty sure they were showing off uh, this year on PS5 only. First year was PS4 when it was first shown off. That was about two years ago. 2019, I believe. Kept up with this game for a long, long time. I'm very, very excited to play it. But again, it is an animal-friendly game, and we know the PC community loves those types of games. Love those type of games. So, solid game, side-scrolling, three-dimensional game, Castlevania style. But some people say it's a it's a it's a Metroidvania with Devil May Cry. So it's it's combat style, not shooter style. So it is a little bit different. Um, so you're you're fighting on a side scrolling. Uh, this is why I was saying I wouldn't mind him being in a PlayStation All Stars specifically because you know if it wasn't for PlayStation, we wouldn't even be seeing this fucking game. Or we wouldn't be getting it. So again, it's a $30 game. I believe it's a $30 game. I gotta go check that out. But I think, yeah, it's a $30 game. Might have got, got it for 20 something. Because I had a discount or something. I don't know what the... It was a PlayStation Plus discount. Yeah. I gotta go check that shit out. But it's fire. It's hot fire, bro. I will be playing this shit September 7th. Um, again, I'm going to do a couple more questions for Namco Bandai and Tails to be sure that I can indeed capture gameplay and screenshots for Tales of Arise, and then I will confirm that as a day one as well. What's this all about? What is that? Like he upgraded or something? Wall jump. Oh, okay. So I guess those little platform things are... He jumps inside of those and then he learns a new ability. It's just really sad watching a PC fan, uh, a PC player play a game that you know is made for consoles. And he's having a hard time with the button movement because who uses a fucking keyboard and mouse to play a, action, a side-scrolling action game? Um, yeah, he's playing horribly. But yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's Fist. Um... It'll be hot fire. You'll see a good amount of people playing it and shit like that. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's kind of weird. You show the game off on PS4 for the first time. Then you show it off for PS5. You release the game. You, you confirm it's gone gold maybe about two days ago. After two days, you confirm a demo is available on PC. Even though there's no release date and the game was only talked about on PS4 and PS5. You can't sit up here and tell me in the chat that that's not a little fucked up. Uh, this is something as a smaller developer or bigger developer, you just don't do. The bigger developers don't do it. And majority of the smaller developers, I've never seen them do something like this. The first developer I've ever seen do something like this was Kojima. Where two weeks before the game came out, this Death Stranding came out for PlayStation 4. He announced this could also come in a PC. So two days after Fist goes gold, this developer puts a demo on Steam on PC. He doesn't even give the place they don't even give the PlayStation fans a demo. I'm like, wait up, wait up, bro. What are you doing? I'm like, what it, what what in the fuck are you doing, bro? Like I I I I'm still having a hard time. You know where your game is going to sell. You put it there first. It's backwards, by the way. Because there's a lot of indie developers that put their games on PC and then they bring them over to PlayStation because their budget's too low. But with a game like this and how good it looks, as you can see, you know PlayStation helped them bring it out to consoles first. So they did. So we should get first dibs on everything. Not just the game itself, but the demo. Especially if you're an individual like myself that has went out and pre-ordered the game. And the game has gone gold. And it's literally about three to four weeks away. Come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's that's not right. You don't fucking do that. That ain't right. 
But let me go show you guys the trailer. Um, actually, we're, I'm going to show off the Fist Forge and the Shadow gameplay. Uh, it's a developer walkthrough, four minutes. Uh, it's on IGN. It is using the Unreal Engine, so you... There we go. Oh, fucked up. So, this game is coming from China. It's using the Unreal Engine. Right there. You see that? The China Hero Project. This is a China Hero Project, as you can see right there. As the square, the X, the circle, and the triangle. That's PlayStation. PlayStation made this game impossible. But, for some weird reason, the developer put the demo on PC. I don't understand how these type of things keep slipping through PlayStation's fingers. You don't want to completely fuck over your fans, but you're doing these things. And I'm catching it, and now the PlayStation fans are telling me, hey, Jay, it's nothing to worry about. Relax, relax. Bro, if you keep relaxing about this shit, they're just going to open the floodgates eventually, and y'all going to be triggered. Y'all going to be pissed off. And I'm, I'm going to be calm because I already saw it coming. I'm frustrated right now. I'm irritated right now. But I won't be later on when this shit goes down. Why? Because I already knew. And I told you guys, but nobody wanted to listen. You, I was telling people about PC port beggars and how dangerous it was. A lot of people lost the message. I was bitching about PC port beggars because when you got a company that wants money and they continue to see these internet um, campaigns to get a game on PC that's only on PlayStation, they might listen. And what did they do? They listened when it came to Horizon. They listened when it came to Days Gone. And what was really weird about those two games, those games were not the most wanted on PC. The most wanted games on PC are the first Last of Us, Spider-Man PS4, God of War, and Bloodborne at the top. So they have not put any of the most wanted games over there. They put the least wanted games over there. Even Death Stranding was the, one of the least wanted games over there. But again, if you put those over there, how long until you put the major ones over there? And if you continue to put major games over there, whether they're a year, two years, three years, people will start to feel some type of way. Especially if you have delays or other problems on PS4 or 5. They'll be like, hey, bro, fix your shit before you put games over there. So again, uh, China, uh, China Joy Project, or what they renamed it, uh, the China Hero Project, um, is something PlayStation uh, has going on to help indies and get indie developers in China get their games out over here in the United States. When meaning money is involved, and they helped get the game out. So again, it is a big f u to the PlayStation community because. PlayStation went over there, foot the bill, so the game could come over here first, but the developer behind their back gives the demo to PC. You put the demo on PlayStation, and the game is out here over here for $30 with a PlayStation Plus discount. You stand to sell more copies of the game on PlayStation before it's officially released on PC. So why did they do a really fucked up thing by, hey, we want you to buy our game. Look at these gameplay trailers. Buy our game on, on PlayStation 4 and PS5. But how about we put the demo only on PC, even though we're not going to give out a release date anytime soon for the PC version. It's just completely back backwards. Let's just watch the gameplay so maybe you guys can understand why I'm excited about the game. And I will not be canceling my pre-order. I just really hope developers stop doing stupid shit. You want the game to be promoted Put the demo out on PlayStation. We will play the game and people will find out about the game. Most PC fans do not share their live streams, video clips, or screenshots around the world on Twitter and Instagram. They don't do that. They're not very flashy people. They will show off their PCs and their specs and shit, but they ain't going to show off uh, different types of games. Yeah, this game looks a lot better on PlayStation. Than uh than the guy was running up. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean that's the thing. Like you have different types of PCs, but you only have one PS4 and one PS5. So, what it runs like on one PS5 is gonna run like that on every PS5. 
I really like the fact that this is a fight, like a, a side-scrolling brawling game. Again, really like the character. I hope that this game flies off the shelves. I hope a lot of people buy this game. If it, It's just... I think they could have maximized their sales if they gave the demo uh, out for PlayStation. It could get a lot of people interested in the game. It's, again, it's so fucking backwards. Again, the game had just gone gold. And you only put the demo on PC. Fucking backwards. Like, ass backwards. PlayStation helped you make this game a possibility in the United States. And on consoles, by the way. And you put that shit, that demo on PC. That shit, I, I cannot understand that shit. It's giving me those Ender Lily vibes with the side scrolling, so I will have to be going back there. Oh, you got some. I like his little uppercut and his fist slam. I like the animations on that. Real fighter friendly. Oh, shit. This, this looks like a little, a little boss fight. He got some really interesting moves. Oh, fuck. That dude got a tornado attack. Yeah. Regardless, I highly recommend this game if you're interested uh, in these type of uh, if you're interested in these type of games, I highly recommend it. This shit looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I just wish more people could have played it before it came out, and that that's what you have a demo for. But they put the demo on the wrong system. Because these idiots can't even fucking buy the game next month. So far that I know, I'm not sure if I'm going to find out any other surprises. Obviously, the game having a demo period is a huge surprise for me. Because you know we don't get a lot of demos. It looks like he also has a graveling hook. Pretty dope. You got a little repl a repair unit, save stop. That's nice. Okay. For that. Giving me uh, Mega Man vibes. Giving me uh, Mega Man vibes with this uh, Blade guy. I think his name was Blade Man. Nice combo. Like a side scrolling fighting game. Now, I, I want to know if, what kind of features it's going to sport for the PS5 version. Hopefully, they give it the works. Um, again, my eyes are very close on this game. I know Ghost is coming out soon. I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to complete that. But I am um, I'm really interested in this game. So, again, when you see Fist, it's only ever talked about for PS4 or 5. You never see uh, the Fist game talked about on any other platform. So, um, I will see if... Oh, because if you search Fist, it's going to be either Fist of the North Star or, again, Fist on PS4. Here's a Fist demo gameplay boss fight that was nine months ago. So, that was obviously PS5 or 4. Um, Seven months ago, on PC. so why would the developer put the demo on PC when everybody knows this game is basically a PlayStation exclusive? So even if you were going to announce it was for PC, which again you should do the traditional thing and wait until it's at least ready, you should have put the demo on PlayStation because that's 
the place where you're marketing your game. Why would you put the demo on PC to market it for PlayStation? Like it makes, bro, it makes absolutely no sense. Now, again, the game is available on PS4. So, you know, you should be able to, you know, just get it on PS4 if you're a PC fan and just guess, hope for the fucking best. I don't know. Um, I'm going to just put Fist PC. I'm trying really hard to see if, uh, you know, if, if anybody on YouTube is talking about it. So I, I search Fist PC. I'm saying I see uh, how to build a PC, uh, building a new PC. Most of these are females. Okay. Um, it's just, this is when you search Fist PC, this is what you get. You don't you don't see anybody playing the demo. You see people building a PC. This is what you get. So this is why I don't really fuck with the PC community because they rather build shit than actually play shit. And when they play shit it's normally just bullshit. It really, really, truly is just bullshit. I'm looking at some of these prices. They're like, oh, $1,500. I will never spend $1,500 on most of my fucking games at one time. Fuck no. Over time, that's no problem because I got income coming in. But at one fucking time, fuck out of here. This one pay, uh, paid $1,500. PC gaming is is very, very expensive. Talking about nine hours later to build that shit. Fuck out of here. I don't got time like that. The fuck? The fuck out of here. Oh, goodness. I think it's just the flashiness at this point. I think people build PCs because all of these guys have, like, little bright colors and shit. I think it's just the flashiness. It's like, hey, let me have a powerful-ass PC. Let me make sure it has these uh these lights. And then it's going to sit behind me when I do my live streams and it's going to look really, really cool. Everybody that's done a live stream, like the professional ones on Twitch, they have a, especially the girls, they have a big ass PC with lights. And then you got color lights in the room and that's, it's more for a background than anything. So you're, you're spending like thousands of dollars for a background piece. It's good for streaming because you have a lot of power. Shit should be fast and be able to do any and everything that you want to do when you're streaming. But outside of that, it's primarily a background piece. Especially if they're games that you really want to play are on consoles. You're using that PC just for streaming the visuals to the internet. But your primary platform of enjoyment is on a console. Which doesn't have lights. I mean, PS4, PS5 has lights, PS4 has lights, but it's not like crazy lights. Xbox has no lights. Ah, I noticed that shit. It's just a fucking box this time around. Yeah, so uh, I'm just trying my hardest to search for Fist PC, and I've been scrolling for 80,000 years now, and all I'm seeing is people build a PC. This is not fist PC. This is just PC, and I don't know what the fist part is, but you know. Okay, so that's what I'm I'm talking about. You put the demo on the wrong platform that will not post gameplay. I saw a couple of streams on Twitch, but for the most part, it's non-existent. Most of them didn't even know the fist was going to go to PC, so they had no real reason to find a demo or even look up Twitter to find out that the developer announced the demo yesterday. And then if they play the demo, they're going to get attached to the game, which does not have a release date for PC, and then they will end up getting the game spoiled for them because when they go back to Twitch as a viewer, not as a streamer, to see more about the game, Someone will end up spoiling the whole fucking shit for them if they're one of those people that will sit through the whole stream. Um, so bad, bro. I swear, man. 
so backwards. I know people want to fuck around with the PC community. I understand, man. I truly, truly, I truly understand. Oh, okay. That kind of makes sense now. That Luke character with the star, he does remind me of that other Cap Capcom character. Okay. He does remind me of that other Capcom character that was a cop. Oh, okay. Okay, Max Maximum Dude has a point. I don't watch him or subscribe to him, but he's... What is it? This is all recommended to me. I don't I know. Let's see if we got anything else. On. No, just, just, you know, multiplats. You know, Dragon Ball Z got something going on new with it. Call of Duty, something new. Skater, something new. Uh, Fall Guy, something new. These are things that were posted. Medium, shitty ass. Uh, dual sense overview, which I could care less about. Another smaller Japanese RPG indie game. Marvel, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Mostly, yeah. uh, again, this is a Friday for them. Not much. They're just going to unload as much as they can. Trailers. Really, really disappointing when it comes to. Really, really disappointing. What is this game? Oh, that's Dauntless. Oh, I forgot that game. Ghost Runner. I have that. I got a lot of fucking games now. Goodness. I got games I purchased that I'm not even fucking playing. Fuck. My backlog has a fucking backlog. Fuck. Let's go test out the SSD. I can't really test it out specifically because, you know, I don't have it in there yet. But. Okay. I got about a hundred gigabytes left. What is taking up? I'm about to multitask. Motherfucker. Let me go talk to the first developer. So, by the way, the acronym for FIST is Forged and Shadow Torch. Um, so yeah, just a day ago, they're advertising pre-order the game, physical, or uh, pre-order the game, digital copy here, and physical release in the United States and EU. We are on track for physical version of uh, FIST. Stay tuned. If PlayStation would, of course, have to foot the bill to make that a possibility. Just an, just another hour ago, there again on their tw official Twitter page, advertising, mark the date, and start playing Fist on September 7th, 2021 on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Torch City, hashtag Torch City, hashtag Forged and Shadow Torch. So, again, this. They're advertising a game only for PlayStation, but yesterday they drop a demo only for PC. I don't understand. Bro, you don't understand how fucking confusing that shit is. I'm going to ask them, will PS4 and PS5 gamers get this 
Demo. That is, bro, it is a backwards fucking form of advertising. Fucking it. Bro, I'm looking for the games on my fucking hard drive. There should be not a single PS4 game on a hard drive of my PS5. That's fucking stupid. I just saw Bro Force. I don't know why that's there. But again, eight hours ago to demo theme, they announced a day ago to demo theme. I don't know why Bro Force is on here. I don't know why Bro Force. Bro Force is not. Bro Force isn't supposed to be on. I don't know why. Let's see what we got. Air Factory, not bad. Returnal, not bad, but I want to hurry up and platinum that game so I can free up the 55. Sackboy, I need to finish. It's going to stay. Astrobot's going to stay. Demon Souls is going to stay. And what is weird is Demon Souls is less than Returnal. It, let's, let's, let's repeat that again. Demon Souls is less than Returnal. Demon Souls calls less than Returnal. How? Bro, the Kraken technology is just a weird thing, bro. I just don't even understand it sometimes. Shit, Spider-Man, Miles Morales is less than Returnal. Like, the fuck is that? I don't even understand that one. Okay, where, who's taking up the fucking space then? Oh, Fortnite got 29, and I don't even play that all the time. I'm gonna have to just, let me just move this piece of shit over. Tony Hawk can stay because I've been feeling like I want to play a skateboarding game. Plague is good. Plague is going to move because I have, I have not even played it. Hunter's Arena can move. I put Destruction All-Stars on there to check it out. I will probably be playing that. Okay, so those are the ones that I probably can move and, and save a good amount of space. The Plague game, Hunter's game, and Fortnite. This is probably one of the best things they, they ever added. The ability to move shit. Um, yeah, of course, cancel this. So that is going to save me 75.30 gigabytes, which is really, really good. Ghost of Tsushima coming out. That's can be where that's at and again when i get the ssd at least i won't have to worry about space for a while but there are certain multi-platform games that i feel are not taking the taking the um taking advantage of the um, the kraken which means they should just be less like if you have you seen demon souls you know that a lot of games should cost less than that because demon souls just looks amazing um, it makes no fucking sense that Returnal is higher than Demon Souls and Returnal is higher than Spider-Man. That makes no fucking sense. Okay. Let me go read some of this stuff. Um, several how 9000, you say you should have a look at the gameplay of the NVIDIA GeForce YouTube page, JTech. They show how ray tracing looks on it. I'm guessing you're talking about ray tracing on Fist or you're talking about ray tracing on the SSD. You got to explain that just a little bit. What's going on, Cedric? I cleared biome 6 at, at least 10 times still can't find a damn exoglyph yeah bro the xenoglyph um, that's my problem bro I really want to find those xenoglyphs Wapzilla is in the building I'm on Grand Theft Auto Online who trying to get paid 
I got an hour, bro. If if I know I'm reading your message late, but after after this shit transfers, I don't mind getting on there for a little bit. See if I can get some extra money. Silver how nine thousand. You need to type in fist game PCJ for it to pop up. Okay. That's fucking sad. Um I go back and search that. Let's just wait for this shit to move on over. Okay. Um let's see. Seems for a turn reason here. That's on uh true witties either. Over there talking to Phil Spencer, he might be at work. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Burge Brizzle, you said, is that Jamar Bates? There's something going on with Jamar Bates. Um, Stardust said, I don't know. Jamar, Jamar Bates has been on the crazy side, and I don't deal with crazy. Just letting y'all know. You know, if y'all, if anybody has problems, deal with that shit yourself. I'm not a therapist. Sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm here to talk about video games your feelings about this country or another country keep that shit to yourself uh i've had a talk with jamar bates before we created the playstation legion where we were only on facebook and he did some weird crazy shit and everybody else was the people that handled it and this time around he was handled by everybody else i'm letting you know publicly i don't got shit to do with that guy he is not a part of the playstation legion he has never been officially a part of the playstation legion even though we wanted him to be a part, he did not want to get on the voice chat. He did not want to share his uh, trophies publicly, which I felt was very sketchy. And he said for at least eight to se seven to eight months that he was getting a PS5, but he never got one. When other people said that, they eventually got one. Even though Somatic, as far as the main members of the PlayStation Legion, was the last one to secure one. And he secured it within a five to, I think it was five to six months. So... And, you know, with somatic situation, it's crazy that he was able to secure one, but he still did it. Um, so I don't got nothing to say about the, the guy bad, but he's on some other shit. So just know that he's not associated with this group. Uh, and he's never been seriously associated with this. Even though we really, I wanted him to get on a mic. I wanted him to be more involved when it came to playing games that we all play that he refused to play or refused to buy or claim that he's buying because they're the hot topic or he claims that he's buying it because he sees JTEC playing it. And then when you ask him, did you buy the game? Did you play the game? Then he says he didn't play the game or he didn't buy the game. So my problem with Jamar Bates, if anything, is that his level of capping is dangerous to his own credibility. It's not going to have anything to do with me or the PlayStation Legion. It's just that if you see me do something and then you claim you're doing it, but you don't do it, or you see me play a game and you see me playing it, but you say you're going you to support it, but you eventually never support it. But every time you see me play that game, you say you're going to buy it, but you said you were going to buy it the last five times that I've shown it on my fucking channel, you end up looking like a fraud. So if you, if you see me play a game and you're really serious about buying the game, you're not going to keep saying it publicly to fuck up your own credibility. And then the next couple months, every time you see me play the game, you say you're going to buy it. But you said that months ago. That's my problem with Jamar. Like he, he literally makes himself look like a joke. I'm not doing anything. I'm just being me. I'm just playing my games and shit. But when you do stuff like that, you endanger your own credibility. And when you're going head to head with an Xbox fan or somebody else calls you out on that shit. You got to answer for your own actions. I, I can't protect you at that point because you hung yourself. So, hey, that's all I'm going to say. That's it. Um, I don't care what he wants to do. He can watch or whatever, but I do not need his support. I Jamar, do not want his support. Jamar Bates caps a lot. That's the problem. There you go. I knew, I knew as soon as we exposed you for talking to Phil 
Spencer. I knew True Woody was going to be here. I knew it. How was the meeting? Good, man. We, 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 talked, we talked about how we're going to convince people to um, waste their time in Game Pass and shit like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Game it, Pass it is the good, future. It was good shit. <laughs> Yeah, we we talked that Game Pass is a feature now of, of of gaming. You know what I mean? So. There you go. That's how we do it. No, I just I just don't I just didn't like the uh the Jamar cap so much that he it would it turned from capping into lying. So I talked about PS5 a lot. So by default, he gets in the chat and says, "I'm getting one." But if I'm talking about PS5 every month or every week of every month or maybe every day of every week of, of every month because I, I'm, I kind of go live almost every day now, then every day you're saying you're getting a PS5, which you don't have to do. You only got to do that once. We're not going to forget <laughs> about you. We know you're there. I know you guys are there. I might not look at the chat, but I know who's there. I, can always, I always know who the fuck is going to support. So you don't have to tell me you're going to do something. Everybody else got an SSD. I got one late. Why? Because I got to wait for my check to come in, man. I got bills and shit to pay. You know? And I wanted to be sure that I was in the beta before I went out and wasted that money. $200 is a lot of fucking money. I'm I not, put that shit I'm on not, some games. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not getting the beta. I'm, I'm waiting. What do you mean you're not getting the, the beta? Do you not sign up? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't okay, sign up. Okay, well, you're not getting I in there. I didn't sign up. I, 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 um, I didn't sign up. I didn't sign up in, in time. That's what it is. No, nah, you don't but know that because other people got in the beta and I just got my invite. So don't don't say you're not gonna get in because people got uh their email today. I got mine yesterday, and then I know uh what is frostbite. He got his like at the beginning of the week or last week. So. Just check your email. You never know when they're going to uh, uh, send it to you. Did you ever sign up, though, for the new one? Um, I did sign up. Okay. Then, I don't know then. if I got... I, I, yeah, don't worry. You I just keep my, checking. You you might get it. But I'm not... I'm, I, ain't got, I, I, ain't got, I ain't got no issues, though, because um, I really want to just wait until... Um, and until honestly, it's, I want to wait. Until it's until real. All yeah, the, I got you. Yeah, because, man... <laughs> I don't want nothing wrong with the um wrong with the um wrong with these these system when they when they test yeah. that shit. I I think I was up yeah, until so three in the morning yeah, backing up my save data. I put as many games on the cloud that I I currently play. Um, uh, I saved it to the PlayStation Plus cloud just in, you know just in case of that's what they said to do. They said make sure you back up your save data. So that's what I did. I backed up my save data until like three four in the morning. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> So you said um I think that was Civil How nine thousand. You said go to YouTube Just, um, and put Fist Game PC. Game, yeah, Fist Game. You do that. Well, you should have to do all that, all that, all that shit just to find a um, demo. We exactly. already know. If you, put, if you put the word Fist, you should just it should pop up. So when I put Fist, what pops up? The game. I'm not seeing Fist for PC, but Fist for PC should pop up because Fist, the game, is popping up, but it's only popping up for the PS4. My whole point still stands. This is the game. You're bringing the game out on, on PlayStation first, right? So why the fuck would you put the demo on PC first? You want to advertise the game for PlayStation, so put the demo on PlayStation, maximize your sales. One second. Okay. So, uh, True Weddy, you you gonna be Yo. here? You gonna be you gonna be online and stuff, right? Tonight, cause I'm I'm getting off work early. They're letting us go at nine o'clock, so I'm gonna try um, to be, I'm gonna try to be home by you're ten. You getting off work at nine o'clock? 
Yeah, so I should be here about be home by like ten thirty. I don't, I don't know. I was planning on watching Suicide Squad, but I just want to know if y'all, y'all, you know, had any plans for any multiplayer games or anything. Oh, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I should be off before nine. Yeah, I, I, I went, went into work today. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I should be off. I should be off by then. So you said, he said, put fist game PC. And it'll pop up. Okay, so Fist Game PC. Uh, 11 months ago. And then the NVIDIA one. So you're talking about the NVIDIA one. That's the one six months ago to show ray tracing. But these are all old. These are not... Like the demo is available right now. I was expecting to see PC gamers on YouTube show off Fist running on PC. The demo. But Who's, who to, who told you the search title? Um, Civil Hound Nine Thousand. He sh he told me to sh um search this so I could see the Nvidia ray tracing display. But I'm trying to find out where the PC gamers are on on YouTube that are showing off the demo that the developer just released yesterday for the PC community, and I'm they're, still they're not, not seeing not a single one of them on YouTube. Show off gameplay. Everything I'm seeing for Fist is months old. Like this one right see, here is see, fucking a, a whole that's, year see, old. See, see, that's why you don't you don't you don't put you to um. That's what I'm saying, bro. It, my point still stands. Yeah, I, why the fuck would you put the demo on PC when you're trying to promote it for PlayStation? Why? Like what in the hey, fuck? Man. Hey, hey, Jay, hey. AJ, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Sony, Sony onto some, um, some weird, weird stuff. I know bro. they are, bro. You, <laughs> you the one that made the game possible. Sony's money made this game possible. Other than that, it probably wouldn't have saw the light of day for the next three or four years without crowdfunding. So, PlayStation made it possible. The game comes out right, or it's coming out on September 7th, which is very soon from a game like this. We know it's a smaller level game. But it looks amazing. But we know they don't have enough money to put out a game like this. Sony comes in, helps them out. They're an indie studio. They got this indie studio uh, um, helper project called the China. It used to be called China Joy Project. Now it's the China Hero Project. Okay. Why not release the demo over here? We would have promoted it more. I guarantee you people like me and Six Humor and Jabari would have played it. I'm going to talk to Six Humor though. I'm going to talk to Six Humor. I'm gonna let him know that demo is available, um, and and I I, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Sick Humor to uh to get that for his channel. So I would, because, I would definitely stream the demo. Yeah, because because <laughs> I know I know Sick uh oh boy I know Sick I, I know Sick uh get the demo uh the demo gameplay up because he got a good PC. And he don't mind uh doing that type of shit. So I just I just message Sick Humor. Uh and then I'm a I'ma message him again on uh on the DMs. Here you go, Sick Humor. This I just want because I know that he got a pretty damn good PC, so he should be able to have a good, streaming in good quality. Yeah, because the, the last guy, he streamed it. The streaming quality wasn't bad, but his PC couldn't handle the visuals that I saw them running on a PS5 with all the trailers it's, that happened this, this year. So, so that's sad. the problem. So exactly. Sad. So, so they're sad, using man. a masterful PC here. You can already tell. So, again, Civil How 9000, big, big shout out to you. Thank you for getting this up. Uh, this information to me and let me know about the ray tracing. Uh, I don't know if the game will have ray tracing on PS5. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Um, it looks like he can swim on this game. Okay. I'm gonna fuck with this game heavy. Hey man, he got water physics. <laughs> it's looking good. But I don't know how many PCs are gonna be able to have ray tracing on with this. And I don't know if the PS5 is going to have it. Like I said, this is the first I heard that this game has ray tracing. But God is the combat fucking awesome. 
Loving this game, bro. Bro, I c I don't care if they put the demo for on PC, how but you go wrong? how the fuck can you go wrong with thirty dollars? It's just like the marketing of this. The trailers are good. That's traditional marketing. Release gameplay trailers make it look flashy. But it is a flashy game because it's basically a side scrolling uh fighting game um with a bunny rabbit with a big ass robotic arm. You can't go wrong with cool shit like that. Um it's a modern city, looks like it's ran down futuristic style China, uh, but with animals. So, you know, people gonna love that. You seem like you got companions and shit. Release the demo on PlayStation. We will fucking help you get this game out there, bro. Putting the demo on PC when it comes to marketing the game on PlayStation 4 and 5 is probably the dumbest thing I've ever fucking saw. You got the game coming out in three weeks. You put the demo on PC? Really? Hey, man. I said, I see, as you can say, bro, we see some web. So they did it's this. Web marketing. They did this. Um, What did they do? They did this six months ago, right? So that would confirm that it's running on a PC. But every video they have, it has PS4 and 5. Right? Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe what's happening is that it's not coming on um, to, to PC um, immediately. It's not. I know that. But. Why the fuck would you put the dem demo over there immediately? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the it's the Kojima shit all over again. You put the demo over there three weeks before the game comes out, basically confirming the game will indeed go to PC. You had a chance to get console gamers to buy your game, but you you spoiled the surprise of the game also going to PC. Will a console gamer buy this game for thirty dollars? It's not that bad on the price side. But of course, people could wait. People might want to go play it on PC instead. I mean, this is just, and, and if you play it on PC instead, you're going to wait for a cheaper price. You wait for a cheaper price, this developer doesn't get the money that they want within the first That's year. That's on them. That's on them. It is on them. It's a fucking fatal mistake. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at how they promote the game. So we got two teams of developers working on it. Then you got... Uh oh oh and look listen to this. They got two they got two two big helpers. This this one right here is gonna get you. The game's running on Unreal Engine. Wait, what? It, yeah, it's running on Unreal Engine. And okay. and, and, it, and it has the Epic Mega Grant recipient, meaning they got money from Epic Games. Okay. The people yeah. that make Unreal Engine but they also got money oh, help from PlayStation, which has the China Hill Hero oh, Project in China. So, so you got. Not even going, hold you on, see, hold on, hold on. If that's the case, then it's not going to Steam. It is on Steam. That's the funny thing. What, the demo what? is available on Steam right now. Okay, no, this is some weird shit. I'm it is sorry, weird. Is... <laughs> so, so. Ep Epic helps them make the game a possibility. PlayStation helps them make a game a possibility. They don't put the demo exclusively on Epic Game Store. They put it on Steam. And then they have PlayStation fans buy the game on PS4 and 5. But they don't give us the demo. because And this is after PlayStation also helped the game become a reality. Because it's going to be... They're going to have a physical ver version of the game. And that's additional money that you would need that you don't have. I don't understand it, bro. These the bro, these developers, and and this is perfectly fine. You didn't have to give this game to us. It would have eventually came anyway. It would have been all right. I would have been able to wait because I got tons of fucking games. I'm good, right? You wanted to put it on PC. That's where you really wanted to put it. Put it over there. But obviously, you wanted your game to sell, so you put it on PlayStation Four and Five first. So why would you put the demo over there? Makes absolutely no fucking sense when you're trying to market the game for two major consoles. Major. This was after the game was celebrated as a PlayStation exclusive 
the game goes gold and you immediately put it, the demo on PC. I don't understand it. And the demo is exclusive to PC currently. With no plans of it coming to PS4 or 5, which are the platforms you're trying to market. I know I might be only a gamer, but that, that seems completely fucked up. I'm going to go to the chat because I'm a little fucking pissed right now. I, I just need to know I ain't fucking crazy. You got money from Epic Games, which is the creator of the Unreal Engine. You got money from PlayStation, which is the creator of the China Hero Project in China. You got money from two people that work together to make sure their games are on PlayStation. And then you put your game on Steam. The demo. Allowing them to play it early and possibly data mining that shit and maybe even unlocking it for them to have the full version. You know how fucking, how, uh, how it's not good. Let me just put it this way. It's not good to put shit on Steam because they can rip that shit off and find a way to access the full game. And developers know that. That's why they don't put demos and betas on Steam that much. Uh, especially of high quality games because they don't want that to happen. They're able to unlock the game. They won't pay you for it. If they're able to data mine it, it could hurt other people's. Uh, well, sorry, it could hurt your investment because if people have the story, the story spoiled, they might not buy the game. Hey, Verge Brizzle, I need to, bro. I need to. I'm going to be honest. Like, they just all over the place over there right now. Um, Games for Eternity with the 199 Super Chat. Try Stealth Guy Gaming. A PC guy that plays games. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Silver High 9000. I say the developer is testing the bugs on PC. That's why the demo is out. I think, Jay. A PC guy that plays games? Who thought that, that that was possible? I mean, if you're testing the bugs on PC, I guess you would just put a beta out. So... I mean, that's all I'm going to say, man. I think if you were testing a game on PC, you would just put a beta out, but... They did not confirm that the people that they want to buy the game is going to have access to the demo. Which is something we should have access to. We got to see how that works. Just want to check the calendar for September real quick too. So, so the game comes out on a Tuesday. Which is the first Tuesday of September. Meaning the game is going to come out on a day where other PlayStation Plus games will be out. Uh, I can only... Imagine if those games are going to be good or bad for PlayStation Plus in September. Um, I want this game to do good. That's why I'm upset. Nobody has a direct line of support when you put a demo on PC, but the game has a timed exclusivity deal for PlayStation. The second thing I'm kind of pissed off about is you confirm the game for PC before the game released. That could hurt yourselves. And you're the second developer in the last three years to do something so stupid. The first being Kojima that I kept track of. It's really like trying to surprise a kid. But being so careless to let the kid see you put his name on packaging for his birthday. Like... You can't really surprise the kid if you already saw, let them see that you're you're about to surprise them. So you can't, you know, you can't surprise PlayStation gamers claiming your game is exclusive, and then before the game releases, in both instances of this game as well as Death Stranding, you publicly confirm that the game is also going to PC. You want to get money from one platform. Because you know that one platform is going to support you the most. But then you confirm you want to put the game on another platform. 
Is this a game they will like? No. Are they interested in the furry animal characters that are in the game? Probably yes. But that's not enough for these cheap pieces of shit to buy a game. I know this. So again, I have talked to the developer and a lot of other people have talked to the developer about the PS5 version and they have not replied. The game is so low key that most people that are it's only a thousand three hundred and eight people following their official game page on Twitter. That's lower than the amount of followers I have, which is pretty fucking low. So, um, can I help yourself out, man? That's all I'm gonna say. You're not gonna see a PC fan running around posting gameplay on YouTube, which we saw, or even on Twitter or screenshots. Um, really, really, really fun. Really, really. I saw some really fucking sad shit, but that is that's the. Way. Let me go see. This, this is probably the same video, but I'm still gonna watch it. It does look good, man. So you got robots and animals. Okay, that's pretty dope. I would really like this bunny rabbit in a fighting game. It would be pretty dope. I can't get over the gameplay. It's it's fucking it's fire, bro. I mean, you can see why I love the game, and I want it to do good because <laughs> this developer has potential, and they could definitely work with PlayStation again. But I'm not sure if PlayStation knows a oh, lot about these things when these games get announced for PC or they're in on it. But listen. Listen, if they're gonna work with PlayStation again. They got they gotta stop that fuck shit, bro. That's what I'm, I'm saying with Kojima, bro. Obviously, PlayStation wasn't a big fan of him announcing Death Stranding was going to PC before PlayStation wanted to. That's why when people say there's three game big games on PC, I say no, they're not because PlayStation did not help with the uh, Kojima game. I mean, sorry, with the port. PlayStation helped with Death Stranding. They they're the ones that, that made the decision to put Death Stranding. Sorry. Days Gone and Horizon over there. Kojima made the decision in the beginning that he wanted Death Stranding over there. That's why I went over there so fucking fast. By all means, by all means, this could um, this could be that deal. This could be the same deal what Sony made with Kojima. It, it go, it goes to PC, but you wait. You know yeah, I mean? and so why why would you do something above and beyond that what Kojima did, which was not only know, give a, a announcement that the game is potentially going to PC ahead of the release for the console by three weeks, you're also putting a demo on PC before the release of the console version by three weeks. I'm like, not even somebody got to be working at PlayStation that said that can be in control of these type of shit, like. How the fuck you let something like this go through? Like this, this ain't this. Don't seem yeah, like man. people. Sony, are... Sony, Sony don't. Um, Jim Ryan or whatever, whoever's in charge, they don't have the finger on the post. Like, uh, yeah, that's what that's... I. That's what I gotta say, man. Like somebody not watching their partners, bro, and they need to watch their partners because they gonna make them look like fools. You you're running, bro. Even they're running around claiming, thinking that the game. Everybody's running around thinking the game is exclusive. And the game obviously is not exclusive. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Because you just released the demo on PC. Not consoles, PC. Fucking just, oh, bro. I don't know what the fuck I can play in 40 minutes. Hold on. 
after all this time, um, hold on. After all this time, everyone's telling um, it was being advertised for a console. They think it's exclusive to PC. They don't pay attention to gaming news. Gaming should do that. What are you talking about? The um, PC community. They, no, you just they, no, they, no, they, no. Let me re- re- let me repeat because you might not understood. It. I'm saying that PlayStation gamers probably thought that this game was exclusive because when you first saw it three years ago, it was shown off during the China, oh. the China Hero Project. And it was only yeah. ever shown off for PlayStation 4 and 5. Okay, it was yeah. never shown off on PC. This is the first time where anybody's hearing of it. It's just weird that your game comes out uh, next month, the beginning of next month, is confirmed as a um it's confirmed to be gone gold about two days ago but yesterday you confirm it the demo is going to pc so you have this nice little celebration your game's gone gold but then the following day you put it on pc the demo That's, anyways I, 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 I came on late what was it what, what was it all about oh the ps5 system software beta which i have I, I can confirm one thing that I see they changed. Over here in the explore section, they made the panels yeah. like squares. Now, I don't know if they changed it just for, for the beta or this is how it's been for a while, but I've scrolled down and I've noticed this is, you know, the news that and this is how it looks. And it's a little easier. Reminds me of the PS3 or just a tad bit. Um, This is news from PlayStation. Cause you, so you can see what... Where you want to see the news from. You can also see here they talk about Indies July 16th. And then they talk about Indies again yesterday on August 5th. They have supported Indies a lot. Um, the live broadcast section is still here. Um, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Monster Hunter World. I can understand I'm related to that. I downloaded basketball, but I have not actually played it or looked at somebody play basketball, so I don't understand why basketball. that's on my list. Mm-hmm. For the live stream broadcast of games you follow, I don't follow basketball, so I don't know why it's on my list. I also don't follow uh, Red Dead Redemption it's on, it's on Two. Everyone, it's on everyone's list. Yeah, that's why I think they need to, to change that message. It says live broadcast of games you follow. So maybe oh, I need probably, to go. You probably. You probably... You probably are, are following some form of basketball game or something mm-hmm. like that. Well, I'm gonna I'm, I'm probably gonna go um, to those and and not follow that shit right now. I don't want that shit on my follow list. I know it's bullshit because I know I'm not following them. Red Dead. There we go. You might you might be because there's some there's some games I never follow. I am, fo- I I am following with that, that piece of shit. Uh, Red Dead. Yep. Get that dumbass shit off. What else was it? They said uh, NBA. Yeah, NBA 2K what? 21 or some shit like that. Yeah, bro, I'm following it. I don't understand why I'm following it. Fuck. Yeah, there, there's some, there's some, um, as I said, there's some games that I didn't even, I didn't even look at, bro. I've never even seen before, but apparently I was following them. I don't know how that, how that works. What? I think when you download a game, they automatically have you follow it. So, uh, Caleb Kaiser, I see your stuff. Um, I don't understand that one. Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls. you following Elder Scrolls? That's what I'm saying. I think when you download a game, and which I might have downloaded from PlayStation Now, or I got a game from PlayStation Plus, when uh, you download you the know, game, it you automatically know, you know what it, follows you know what it. it is? You know what it probably is? Even um, as you said, if you download a game, it um, if it, it follows you, probably download some games off of PlayStation Now or stream them through PlayStation Now before in the past, and they just let you follow the actual game on the PS5. Caleb Kaiser, the ten dollars super chat. Why is everybody quick to blame Jim Ryan? Last time I checked, Shia Yoshida was the head of the indie division. Isn't he to blame as well? Uh, I didn't blame Jim Ryan. I didn't. Put a name on any of uh, this this incident right here. Who who the heck blamed Jim Ryan? No, he says he says in the super chat. Why is everyone quick to blame Jim Ryan? Last time I checked, Shia Yoshida 
who is the head of the indie division, isn't he to blame as well? I didn't blame him. So I don't know what you're talking about with that. I Honestly, didn't put a name on it know. because I, I said I don't know who's in control of this division, but whoever it is, they're fucking up. How could you let somebody that you're partnering with to release the game supposedly exclusively for PS4 and 5 underneath your nose, put the demo on Steam, even though you're partners with Epic, which granted them money to make the game more of a possibility, which you are also partnered with, but again, the game ends up on Steam, at least the demo. So I don't know who's in charge of that. I guess I blame Shia Yoshida. But I know when he stepped down, he's not in yeah, control he, of... Yeah, but he, 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 exactly. He's not in charge, charge of something this large, right? Yeah. This is, this is a large project. When you get, yeah, when you got but, a big game like this that looks like this coming out, he, he's going to run around and support it. He's going to go on Twitter and say, hey, I support this indie. This is a game you should check out. That's literally all he does. He, he's, he's not in the office meetings he, making these deals, bro. There's no way they're allowing him in, in the office it's making these Jim deals Ryan, it's anymore. Jim Ryan, it's Jim Ryan and freaking Herman Hose pushing these things through. At the end of the day, I'm not saying I'm not uh, saying true, but I disagree that any I disagree that they know knew about this this demo going first to PC, even though you paid them money for a timed exclusivity deal. I I, that, I, that I don't they think the time, they knew about I this. I thought they paid for a timed exclusive deal just just. To give a demo to PC. That's stupid. And like, they keep giving me a that? million dollars on Grand Theft Auto V, I swear. Every time I yeah, turn around, it. they're giving me money. Take it. Yeah, yeah, each month. Take it. Each month until the, until, until the, um, the PS5 version comes out. Have you, been, have you been accepting that shit? Yeah, but I was just checking. Uh, let me see. My cousin decided. My cousin wants to start playing that again. Um, well, he's never stopped playing that game, but he wants me to start playing that again because of the um the car meet. That uh -huh. um, yeah. So he's been trying to get me to start playing the game again. So oh, okay, I understand what they're saying now. These are the bro the games you follow. I think they need to fix that though. Like, every time you buy a game or download a game, whether it's Plus or PlayStation Now, they automatically have you follow that game, and I don't want to follow that game. So, yeah, sometimes I just want to check a game out. I don't want to follow it. Yeah, I don't want to follow that shit. Because I'm like, my, my list looks casual. I'm like, I don't want my list to look casual. I don't want to <laughs> really look at these fucking games. Like, I haven't played uh, Red Dead in years. You don't even understand. I, I deleted I that shit I off my hard drive. Right Not only was it it taking up a shitload of space like that game started to get bored it's a beautiful game but it's yes at a, a certain point in the story it got boring and the multiplayer was fucking garbage so i was like no nah, i don't even need this no, game on my, here, here, my hard here, drive here's the here's the thing with me with red, here's the thing with me with red dead i didn't find it i found the story boring but it was it was the story was still good it just dragged on that's the problem with me with the story and arthur at the end of the end of the game Started having a bleeding heart as, as if nigga, you a killer, dog. Stop pretending like a little bitch. But I don't, I don't yeah. think this, uh, this, this situation with Fist is gonna hurt anybody at PlayStation because I don't remember me saying it would hurt them. I think I was putting the blame on the developer themselves. I think it would hurt the developer, not PlayStation. I don't think I ever put the blame on Jim or uh, Herman when it came to the Fist situation. It's the developer's yeah, choice to put that? the demo on PC, and it was their... They, yeah, who, they, who told me what? Well, I don't know. I guess people in the chat are just po pointing fingers. I don't know if someone's blaming me or what, what they're saying, but all I said is that the developer fucked up by putting the demo of a smaller game that they're producing that they want to sell on the wrong system... Because you put it on that system, they play the game. What are they going to want to do? They're going to want to buy the game. Demos are used nowadays as a heavy marketing strategy. So, 
Did you think you uh, put the demo on PC and then a PC fan got run out and try to be, buy a PS4 or 5 console so they can play yeah, $30? Don't it don't seem realistic. Put the demo on a platform where the game is releasing first so they can go from the demo to purchasing the game. That helps you make the money. No one's going to go play the demo on PC and buy a PS4 or a PS5 to play the game on a completely different platform. It's the developer's fault. I didn't say Jim Ryan. I didn't say Herman. I did not say this was going to affect PlayStation outside of the perception that they don't got their shit together making deals with indie developers from China that don't want to keep their fucking promise of timed exclusivity. At this point, it goes completely above the timed exclusivity thing because you've already exposed that you have interest in putting the full game on PC by putting the demo of the game that is yet released on PC first. Not PlayStation's fault, not Herman's fault, it's the developer's fault. They want to make money off of PlayStation gamers, but this is not the right way to go about it. And they are small. Like I said, they have only 1,300 followers on Twitch, and I have well above that. So they are very, very small. I want them to make money off of this game. This game is fire. I've already put my money down. I'm not canceling the game. I love the game. I want you guys to understand this is not going to have an impact on me enjoying the game. I am still going forward to play the game on September 7th. But as far as the developer is concerned, when they when we when we're considering a small indie developer that wants a community to support their game that they know has money, that they know support smaller games compared to the PC community, why would you drop the demo over there to promote the game on PlayStation 4 and 5? It's backwards. Again, developer's fault. Don't point the finger at me because I'm going to point the finger at what the fuck is going on. Don't do that. Game it's Resolvo. Fist. So, you have the ability to download the demo from Steam Store right now if you want. You know the one with the bunny rabbit and the robot hand? Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. I passed it off to Sick Humor because I know he uh, covers PC shit, and so I know you'll cover it too. The guy I saw, the first guy I saw show that off on, on Twitch, I don't think his PC was powerful enough because it didn't look so good. But the gameplay I saw running on PS4 and 5 this uh, over the last, I don't know, four weeks to seven months looked pretty damn good. So, um, Silver How 9000 told me that the game uh, has ray tracing for NVIDIA. But I didn't, I don't think we heard that confirmation for the developer when it came to the PS5 version. So that might be a feature exclusive to the PC. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's that's that's what happens when you you deal with a lot of smaller studios. Like, you know, they I guess they don't gotta be honest all the time. They don't gotta stick with you, but you're paying all this money for them to be exclusive, and like that looks like they just don't gotta honor their fucking promises at this point. With this specific situation, it looks like they're not honoring any promises. So. I want to know about haptic feedback. I want to know if the game has ray tracing or not. The more hey, I got... think about this, the more answers I need. And I don't think I'm going to get any of them. As soon as they posted that shit on all Twitter, that, people were that, asking all about that, all the... that stuff shoots. Yeah. You said what, true? It should still be on the PlayStation. Yeah, true. This is what they said. This is what they said. New demo is now is now. Okay, that's not English. Um download our latest demo on Steam and start the trial. So it's a demo and you start the trial of the game. So again, that that is a promise that you're bringing the game to PC. And if this game was going to go day and date with PC and be on PS4 and 5, I would have been perfectly all right with it like Kenna. But you're supposed to come out with that information right then and there. Don't try to surprise people later on. If you want your game to be day and day on PC, whether PlayStation gamers going to keep telling me that shit ain't happening, even though it's happening with Kenna and Godfall and 
it could have easily happened with Fist, and it wouldn't have been a problem because they're like third party indie titles. But man, bro, just be honest. That's all I'm saying. I don't care how small or how big the developer is. Be honest. You gonna stay out no. of a lot of fucking trouble. Be honest, and they are small. And I don't understand how they're still small with a game that looks as good as that. You know, but my problem with them putting it on PC first is specifically because the PC fans don't like to advertise games. Obviously, people want to get paid to do it. I don't really care. If I think a game looks good, I'm going to share pictures and, and video clips and people are going to get to see it and they make their own opinion. But the PC community... Rarely, if any, this they never post anything. They post about their specs and graphics cards, but they won't really post like, "Hey, I'm playing this game. Look how good it looks." Oh, there's a fucking cat in this game. Look at the cat. They don't do that. Oh, the bunny. It's a cat in the game too. No news on Horizon being delayed yet? Oh. Oh, yeah, that was uh, something we were... Um... I think... We got enough time to go dig at the red alert, share it to my laptop, and then, yeah. So, the medium is going to be getting dual sense support. Adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, rapid tapping, resistance, accelerating pulsing, touch and motion controls, speaker and light bar support. So, I think that's probably one of the reasons why. Um, yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why. Xbox wanted that game to be timed exclusive because if it would have came out day and date to PlayStation, even though the game is not that good, yeah, they would have, they probably would have been pretty pissed off. Okay. So I think. I'm going to try one more thing before we get out of here because I already downloaded the video. So I'm going to go see if, if Sony Japan did it. Um, let me see. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? So PlayStation Japan posted something today on Twitter. And it pretty much confirmed that Horizon Forbidden West is still supposed to come out this year. But... It was only on Instagram and it was their official one. So yeah. What is it? Yeah, you got a super chat, bro. Hello? Vegeta, uh, -huh. uh you said Sony should back the the black Wukong developers. Oh yeah, yeah, they should back them. Again, if I was in charge, like some people say, I would have made sure they, they backed them, but as of right now, it doesn't look like that's happening. Okay, but then again, they, but if they did, if they did back them, you have to look at it like this. They might even do the same crap that this fist devs did trying to put their game on PC on slick because yeah. you know, we know that the PC market is the main market in China. I just so, subscribed to Japan, uh, PlayStation Japan. I didn't know. Oh, I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Vital. I see what you're saying. Uh, it's true though, man. Uh, let me see. Is it? I think this is it. Okay, let's let's just let's go take a look at this. I think this is the one. But I downloaded the video to my um to my phone and to my PC just in case. Yep, this is it. So we're gonna watch this trailer eight million times, and you're gonna you're gonna tell me in the chat what are they showing off a lot. I'm going to tell you right now, if Jason Schreier and Jeff Grubb are proven to be wrong and this game does in some way, shape, or form release this year, I'm letting you know right now, they need to lose all credibility. I am tired 
of I'm just gonna be honest. If somebody white lies in the gaming industry, y'all people ignore it. If J Tech is to even say anything that's untrue, not purposely, or get his information wrong, y'all never let me hear the end of that shit. That's all I'ma say. Jeff Grubb has been wrong so many times, but people still use his dumb ass as a source. And I don't understand why. He has been wrong so many fucking times. Because he's a pro Xbox guy. Jason Schreier too. Yeah, but we got PlayStation fans that I ignore how wrong they are and use this motherfucker as a source. Somebody did that shit last month. I was like, hey, what's your source? And the dude was reluctant to tell. He was like, Je Jeff Grubb. I know, I know, man. I know you don't like Jeff Grubb, but I was like, bro, he's not a source. He's not a credible source. <laughs> I'm like, he's not a credible source. Bro. So again, <laughs> you meant to, meant to, he was reluctant. This, this, was, this is what I'm telling bro, you guys. Oh this is the Japan oh, PlayStation, official Japanese PlayStation page. I saw this trailer on Twitter. I have it on my phone. I have it in the PlayStation Legion red alerts. And I just downloaded it to my uh to my my computer. So it says Horizon Forbidden West underneath Horizon Forbidden West. It says Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, I think the, the the trademark or copyright is 2021 Sony Interactive Entertainment Europe. Club yeah, but when did it, when when okay when was that when was that posted? Eleven hours ago. So they're still confident when um that they're gonna bring it out this year. When is it I don't know if year? they're confident. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, all I'm saying yeah, is that this trailer was posted on the PlayStation Japan Twitter and official YouTube. I don't know anything out there. All I'm saying is that they're still showing it off in the lineup for as games a, that are coming out this year. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. They must be very confident. But the question yeah. is, what is that? They I just, have, I just know, want they Jason they got, Schreier gotta, and Jeff Grubb to be wrong. That's all I want. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Jay? I want them to be wrong too. I want, but they, but they're still gonna get credit, credit, credibility though, Jay. They, I don't know why, but they're still gonna get credibility. They're still gonna be because be see, as, I can, be, I, can give, I can give, I can give Jason some credit because yes, he's right on certain things, right? But I can't Jeff give Grubb Jeff Grubb credit where it, that's that was Jason Schreier's source for this particular story. Jason Schreier used Jeff Grubb as a source for Horizon getting delayed. Oh, wow. Which means oh, wow. that Jason Schreier would be able to scave off the L, but Jeff Grubb would get a big fat L just to be ignored for a couple months and then resurface and be believed on his next rumor. All right, Columbo. He said wow. there was an unnamed source in that Bloomberg article. It's an unnamed Bro. Hey, bro, Jeff I'm I'm, I'm smacking both of them with an L. I don't care. I think both yeah. of them deserve an L. Yeah, but again, in this okay, game, chat. Give them a pass. We got about a nice 15 minutes. I want to appreciate the support over the last three days. I saw our numbers reach real, real highs, and I see the likes are high too. It seems like 70. Six dislikes were planted on this live stream, which is really funny because they're going to get del deleted anyway. Um, but I just want to know, what are your thoughts on PlayStation Japan of all posting or still posting commercial trailers with Horizon Forbidden West? Do you think Horizon Forbidden West is still coming out or do you think it's getting delayed? Remember, an unknowns, a unnamed source told Jeff Grubb that the game was getting delayed, and then Jason Schreier used Jeff Grubb and his unnamed uh, source about the Jason, game getting delayed. Jason Schreier said he was using the unnamed source, but the unnamed source is Jeff Grubb because that's where everybody yeah. found out about it. He would have just said Jeff Grubb, then. He's not gonna fucking say Jeff Grubb. If we all know a Jeff Grubb, why would he still be like unnamed source? That, that's stupid. Bro, because if he says Jeff Grubb, everybody's going to laugh him off, and he knows that shit. That's why he referred to Jeff Grubb as an unknown so source. Cause, and I know I he's talking he about Jeff, because Jeff broke the story almost uh, 24 to 48 hours before Jason Schreier reported it. When does that happen? All right, then he suddenly <laughs> becomes the dumbest motherfucker on Earth. <laughs> 
And people only believed it because Jeff Gru uh, because Jason Schreier reported it. No one believed it when Je uh, Jeff Grubb reported it. But when Je when Jason Schreier picked up the story, that's when people were believing it. I think that if this shit was getting delayed, PlayStation, we talked about this before, they should have spoken up by now. I'm going to laugh the fuck Yeah, it's still kind of up in the air. They're just like, well, um, it's, 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 six, it's like 79 this. dislikes now. It's probably, what did I do? I think I pissed off the PC community again because on Twitter I told them that if PlayStation was to go the same route as Xbox, meaning they would go day and date, there would be no purpose of buying a PS5. Um, the value of the system would be gone, and it would hurt PlayStation and Sony more than what what's going on with Xbox and Microsoft. Because PlayStation and Sony doesn't have enough, uh, like, the backing that Microsoft supplies to Xbox game division. So and They were mad about that? Yeah, they are like, uh, it's not going to happen. It's going to be one to two years. I was like, eh, well, I was the same person saying it was never going to happen. So you see where we're at now. Uh, anything's fucking possible. Um, they, they know how stupid it would be. So that's, that's the thing. They know how stupid it would be. But, um, you know, it is the power of... Power of Dreams. We haven't been on Dreams in 80 years. Uh, so let's look at this trailer 85 more times. Again, chat, what's going on? Um, Do you think Horizon's coming Bro, out or that, not? That dislike is rising. That dislike is rising. Oh, well, they are happy, man. They are I'm desperate. really, really happy. Please, can y'all <laughs> see if y'all can give me at least the 300 dislikes? That would be just amazing. <laughs> yeah, keep it up, man. Yo. Y'all don't understand how much these dislikes help me. <laughs> because all YouTube is going to do is check each and every dislike and find out by find out that it's by an account that does not actually uh that is not actually accurate um active and then they're going to delete it. Yeah, they do this shit all the time. So I'm asking. You got the little white kids mad at you again? Yeah, I mean they probably support a system game. that has no fucking exclusives. I don't know. I just didn't get the feeling that it was a real legit um, thing that was happening with, with Horizon Forbidden West. I didn't really feel like it was getting delayed because, again, it just didn't feel real. If it is confirmed by PlayStation, it will be real, but... It was the source that he got it from. It just didn't feel like, didn't feel like it was. And then everybody at Guerrilla Games it saw it. They, I know they saw it. I saw Rising Kratos by Sony Santa Monica and 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 Corey. They see everything that's going on in the internet. They see everybody that says anything fucking negative about their game. They are probably working overtime. Yes, I do mean crunch. To make sure the game comes out to prove Jason Schreier wrong. Which Jason Schreier better hope that's not the case. Because his credibility will take a major fucking hit. By the way, he didn't even break the fucking story for the Activision bullshit. Because everybody knew that shit was going on. The lawsuit had already been filed. What does he do exactly for a living? Just report bad gaming news and make people look bad. But there's been nothing other. Like, what has he been reporting on lately? Just bad news. That's it. That's why his face looks like that, I guess, right? Yeah. That's all he does. Jason Schreier is the bearer of bad news. His whole purpose is to report bad news. So, again, I'm going to play this trailer 85,000 more times. I need opinions for the 41 people that are here, and... I guess the troll that keeps making up fake accounts to give me another dislike. I mean, can y'all go to 100 today? It would be What's nice that to see one. Huh? Yo, they might get the to 100. The they yeah. might get to 100. These Jeff. little white kids might get 100 dislikes. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that was true, Woody. Um, more exciting. Excited for Ghost of Ik uh, Ikashima, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, don't matter if Horizon Forbidden West come out this year. For me, I got too much in my backlog. Okay, I understand that. 
understand that. I say release Horizon Forbidden West uh, if they can. Uh, in September, if they can. Who gives a damn about Death Stranding? We already played that game. I Hey, I agree, uh, Verge. I agree. Um, you you bring bring out look Death Stranding. People got buy it or not buy it. You don't need to do all you need to do for Kojima. If it was between Kojima and fucking Gorilla, I'm pretty sure PlayStation would fuck over Kojima in a heartbeat. Because I'm sorry, they were able to get their game to sell 10 million in two years. Kojima was only able to get his game to sell 5 million in two years, much less than Horizon, and much less than God of War as well as Spider Man. So. Um, and that was, again, we just talked about it, announcing the game for a completely different project, uh, platform two weeks before the game comes out and a whole four days before the reviews came out. Really, really stupid. Why doesn't nobody ask him about that? I don't know, but I do know one thing. He is developing his own personal game trailer for the director's cut. And I hope he's not working on an announcement for it to go to PC also. I hope he doesn't. I hope he don't do no fuck shit. But the Xbox thing he was rumored to be partnered doing. But that, that rumor was created by Xbox fanboys specifically, so I don't think there's no truth to that. Ah, I should make a game out of the dislikes, yeah. Every dislike I'm, is going to be a different weapon, so... I got 87 I weapons. Some, some shit like, yeah. Can y'all go farther than 87? Like, is that all y'all can do? It's supposed to be like the whole internet mad at me, man. Come on. It's supposed it's to be like They're a thousand of y'all. Sure, so. You say what? No, it's Friday. They're going to give you more dislikes. So they don't have shit to do. Oh, probably. Well, I mean, they stopped at 87. I was expecting them to get that 100. So I'm guessing he has to make or she has to make multiple um accounts right now yeah i pissed off a lot of people going, on that going, post and going, i got like 200 in. likes so i'm guessing a good amount of those people that pissed off came over to my youtube channel because my notifications up there so we gotta take a look at this yeah, trailer they're, one they're, more they're, time now they're making some more trip now they're making some more um some more accounts Jay. so you yeah. talk yeah, I gotta give him some time here. I need. <laughs> yeah, make some more accounts. That I mean, they doing good. I see this Japanese trailer. You got um, uh, what is it? Uh, Demon Slayer. You got uh, Lost Judgment for Japanese audiences, and then as far as you know, PlayStation audience, Horizon Zero Dawn and Ratchet and Clank. So it's a really good trailer of four games but very smart marketing very very smart marketing nice, does anybody smart. know if this demon slayer game is also going to xbox i'd guess so demon slayer video game xbox series x Uh, so it's going to PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. So yeah. Only platform it's not going to is Nintendo Switch. Wow. Very interesting. Can't As you look. guys know, Demon Slayer is on uh, Funimation, which is owned by Sony. So maybe. But we know... This game goes sell boatloads on PlayStation in Japan and the United States because most Xbox fans don't watch anime. So yeah. Thank you, Verge. I just wanted to make sure I got my facts straight, so I will always use Google. I don't trust nobody. I don't take L's for nobody. So I will use the internet every time. But thank you, man. Um, okay, Jermaine also said, yeah. Oh, good. We got 88 dislikes. We only got about seven more minutes. 
or actually five more minutes now until um I played no fucking games today. But you know, talking to you guys, how would I? Um I haven't ran into any problems. I had the update here since um since this morning. I do notice that when I click on a game or highlight a game, it will let me know if it's PS4 or PS5. Um, but everything in my external hard drive, well, almost everything is PS4, uh, except for the games I have stored there for the play games. They uh, they did good. They did good. I like I like what they did. Let me just dive into here because Tribes of Midgard did get a patch today. I do remember a couple of PC fans saying that it was uh it was running in 30 frames per second on a PS5, but I couldn't find any real evidence of that from the people that were playing the game. No one was pissed off about it. I am noticing. I mean that troll, yeah. Yeah, I am noticing that I went in there and I have not been able to go into worlds with full set of 10 people. So hopefully they can fix the matchmaking. I do like the game though. It's just very, very not right. It's impossible to play by yourself. So it looks like we got a shitload of people here right now. So that's dope. So the good thing is if I was to still play this game, but I gotta go to work for real. Uh what up? You can cut the trees with your fucking sword. Oh, fuck. I didn't know you could do that. Well, I learned something new. You can cut the fucking tree with your sword. Wait, what? Um, you can cut the tree in, um, in Tribes of Midgard with your sword? Yeah, if you do the spin attack with your sword, you can uh, cut the tree. Oh. Huh. Did not know that. Wait, how do you there. use how do you, how do you use how do you use your abilities? I, th I thought you had the abilities in Tribes of Mega. Yeah, the, the, one of your abilities is triangle for the spinning sword attack. And then other than that, I don't know how you use like any of the other ones. I think you gotta rank up. I rank up. Okay. I just wanna make sure. That looks solid. Demons and yeah, solid game. I just want to jump oh, on here with tribes, a group yes. of people. Tribes, yes. Yeah, it looks like there's a shitload of people here today. Probably a lot of people off of work today. I heard school started back, but I can't confirm that because I'm still dealing with little weirdos on YouTube. So I don't know if school actually. Started no, back. no, school started back. Um, started back in Florida, not here. Oh, in Florida, well, that sucks for yeah. them. Yeah. Yep. Um. Okay, this actually is a good game, but I can't stay it because I got to go to work. But everybody have a great day. I'll be back later on tonight, uh, True Woody. I did download, um, uh, what is it, Suicide Squad, so I'll see how that runs. Um, Wait, you downloaded Suicide Squad? Yeah, the new movie. I got it downloaded. I'll be watching it when I oh, get back. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> no, All not right. the video game. No, <laughs> not the video game. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm out. Um, might want to check out those deals. I know the PlayStation Store has some good deals. I don't really care because I am full of games. I, I can't even justify buying another game at this point in time unless, bro, it's, bro, unless Sony, it's one Sony, I know Sony I'm going to play. Yeah, they break your wallet Sony because they got good wallet. deals, man. Um, really, really good deals. Hey, hey, man, if you're poor, nigga, you, you could stay. That's why, that's why you, that's why you stay on Xbox, bro, because you're poor, you don't want to buy games, they don't give good, they don't give discounts anyway, so. I have noticed <laughs> also one more thing on this update. So, they let me know the Elder Lilies, they let me know, first of all, they put PS5, PS4 logo right beside the name, which slides the name farther away. I don't like that. But they also changed the trophy um, layout down the bottom of right hand. I do like that. 
I do like the way the trophies are displayed. It lets you know if you have a gold, silver, Ooh. or bronze. Um. Oh, hey, I thought, I thought, hold on, I thought they're supposed to be changing the trophy so it go, it, the trophy list goes down instead of across. That's only when you check the trophies. So if you're looking at the screen right now, and I really do got to go soon, uh, you will see that it is going down. So they did, they definitely did change uh, that. But then again, you're then again you're in the beta, so you'll see. Yeah, that. I'm in the beta, so it look. I mean, it looks good. I like I like it. It's going down instead of across because I can track track more of them. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that people like from the PS4 that they were bitching about. Yeah, uh, and they're gonna. I think there's a lot of stuff from the PS4 that will be making its way over here. Uh so that's and that will be customizable backgrounds and shit like that eventually. I think that thing that should come. Oh my goodness! You know, I people can't are taking wait. a lot of screenshots. These gameplay, but you know the games look great, so it would only make sense. Um, so and, I, I and, just wanted and, to um, let you guys know about hope, that. And hey, hopefully yo. they'll start giving the, um background um this backgrounds when you buy games again. You know the um the themes when you buy a game, you get uh, a theme. Yeah, I, I hope they oh, start that doing that be again. Fucking crazy with the SSD. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love things, bro. Yo, Jay, real quick. Did you say the, the Suicide Squad movie is out? Yeah, it's out on Disney+. Plus. What? Well, no, not Disney+. I mean, yeah, HBO. HBO Go. Okay, okay. You know, oh, whatever. Suicide Squad too. I didn't know it was out already. Yeah, the James Gunn one. Yeah, the James Gunn one is out. Okay, yeah, guys, yeah. I really got to go. I'll see you later. Uh, all what, the trolls what? that attempted to give me 100 dislikes, I want you to know you failed uh, horribly because you only got me to you 87. Got um, so I already know it was one person making multiple accounts and you have a very, very sad life. Okay. You got to go find <laughs> something better to do. Okay. That's, um, that's a little I am weird. I'm disappointed in you. Very disappointed. disappointed in you. You feel just like your parents. You I'm pretty sure.